The 2024 presidential race picking up momentum with the Iowa caucuses just one week away. Republican candidates are traveling across the state hoping to sway voters. Meanwhile, President Biden is in South Carolina to sharpen his attacks against former President Donald Trump. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the latest from Washington. The countdown to the Iowa caucuses are on, and with just one week to go, candidates on both sides taking aim at Donald Trump as the Republican frontrunner holds on to a commanding 30-point lead. President Biden at Mother Emanuel Church in South Carolina, where nine people were killed in a 2015 racially motivated mass shooting. Biden laying out the stakes, warning about MAGA Republicans led by Trump, and pointing to January 6th in his efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. That's not the real world. That's not democracy. That's not America. In America, we all count. In America, we witness to serve all those who, in fact, participate. And losers are taught to concede when they lose. And he's a loser. Biden's speech interrupted by a handful of protesters calling for a ceasefire in the Israel Hamas war. Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Those chants drowned out by shouts of four more years. I understand their passion. I've been quietly working with the Israeli government to get them to reduce and significantly get out of Gaza using all that I can to do. Back in Iowa, weather canceling campaign events for former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, who's vying for number two alongside Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Both must convince their voters they have what it takes to beat the former president. Pro-Trumpers don't think I love him enough. Anti-Trumpers don't think I hate him enough. For those that want me to hit Trump more, I just am not going to do it. DeSantis vowing to stay in the race despite comments from Trump that he might drop out to back Trump instead. DeSantis says he's in it for the long haul. We have a packed schedule and we'll be flying from uh, Iowa to New Hampshire after caucus. And on the Democratic side, two long shot candidates, Marianne Williamson and Minnesota Representative Dean Phillips, will take the debate stage today without their main contender, President Biden. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Washington.